We're here to officially open this beautiful new supermarket. We're also here to thank the Kenny family and Wakeburn for its belief in and support of a new and vibrant city of Wilmington. We're also here to take note of how much collaboration, uh, cooperation, and partnership is needed to make something like a new ShopRite uh, become a reality. In fact, many of you, and if you're not wearing your in pin, uh, we have some for you if you'd like to have one before you leave, but that in pin has a very important message on it. It says, in this together, Wilmington in the middle of it all. If it were not for us working together on many, many projects around the city, we would not have uh, nearly two billion dollars worth of redevelopment in this city, uh, the most since World War II. It's an incredible accomplishment for many of you standing uh, right here today. And once again, you're here with us again for another major accomplishment. In order to make progress in bringing about a new Wilmington that is emerging from the old, you need vision and you need leadership. Here's our leader in the city of Wilmington, Mayor Jim Baker. Well, it's a grand day. I just want to welcome you all to the uh, Puccini Poland district of Wilmington. <laughs> Uh, but I'm very happy because the uh, Kitty family has been such a great family to work with and to hung in there. We tried to get them in a different location and it didn't work out. And we wanted the next and everything else and it didn't work out, but they didn't go away. And, and it's really great to have this uh, great store here. <coughs> I'm not good at this because I spend too much money when I come into places like this. And then I eat too much on top of it. So I'm not I'm be one of your better customers for that kind of stuff. But I shouldn't do it. But I'd like to thank everybody, the council member, uh, Denrac who's been our partner for so many projects, the Riverfront Development Corporation. Uh, I know Mike's mother, Mike Persicki's mother passed away in the funeral this morning, so but uh, he's done so well uh, working with all of us. We're making the riverfront and areas of the riverfront great. All the partners that made this possible, the economic development people, L and I, uh, so many people had to work together to make this a reality. I mean, without Denrec, and we kept finding more exotic stuff than what we thought originally and had to be cleaned up. So this is a great brownfield project and so many other people working together made this possible. Without transportation, doing their jobs, wouldn't have happened. So city, state, county, everybody, private sector, working together with us has made this possible. And I just want to tell you, I know that we're in bad times economically and all that, but it's not going to be as bad as we think it's going to be, unless we want it to be. We really have to be very creative about how we think about our future as a nation, as a city, and I take the attitude that we're going to grow the city, we're going to make it a better place. I don't care what the economy outside of Wilmington or Delaware does, we're going to make it if nobody else makes it in this backbone country. I think we have good leadership. I'm glad to see the change in Washington. I we'll think maybe we'll get something done for the people for once instead of all listening to that crap I've been listening to for so many years. Sorry if anybody gets offended, but I think I've heard enough mess the last few life, but I want to see action. I want to see great things happen. So this is what we've been doing in Wilmington. So thank you all for being a part of this growth in Wilmington and the vibrance of it to make it a better city. And for those of you that don't believe that this is going to be a greater city, then I can't help you, but it's going to be. And so I thank all of you for what you've done for our city. And this is a beautiful facility, and I'll probably be here too many times spending my money, but that's what you want. Right? Everybody's spending money. So after all the said and done, all of you just go back there, even if you're just getting a sandwich, buy something. That's what makes the economy grow. Only one thing important, how much money does the American people spend? That's what makes our economy great. All that other stuff doesn't count. 
So thank you for being here. Thank all of you for your help and for making this happen. And welcome to the brand new shop, right? And I'm going to introduce, first of all, the mayor. It's important I talk to him. You've got to be excited to have this coming in and being a part of the city now. Oh, it's just a great project. And we like to really thank the Kenny family for locating this uh, particular uh, supermarket here. It's 70,000 square feet, multitudes of offerings for people. And they've been such a great neighbor for the agencies and for this neighborhood. So we're just happy all the way around. It's, it's a great addition to this whole uplifting of the riverfronts for our city and for the city as a whole. So we're just happy, that's all. Yeah, you can see the change in coming into I'm going to get with Mr. Kenny here in a minute, but you can see, you can see the change. I mean, this has been years and years. I go back, uh, you know, to 10, 15 years ago when the ballpark opened up and the dream first started and vision started coming in. This is just, you know, this, this is not putting a cap on it yet, but it's getting close. Oh, you are going to be seeing great things happen, and, you know, we're going to push ahead. The economy has its problems. But we're going to go ahead because I think that the only thing that makes cities great is their diversity and their offerings to people. And this is such a close amenity for people to come from all over this area in this region. Yeah, I'm telling you, it makes it real nice right down the street. For, you know, like, you know, it, it makes it very it convenient. It's a few minutes to get here. Yeah, and what a store. I'm telling you, I haven't been through it yet, but just looking at it and everything, Beautiful. I understand rooftop parking coming. The whole world. Oh, yeah. It's a great place. Great project. And so many partners with the state, the city, county, the Kenny family. So many people worked from the to make this happen. So it's I'm real happy with that. The riverfront's and, taking off, buddy. I'm telling you. Oh, we're going to be a greater city than people realize. Yeah, and I, I thank you so much. I know you're busy. you got to get out of here. But I want to thank you so much for all your efforts you've done over the last, you know. I guess now is we're going in our third term. Congratulations. <laughs> right. <Thank laughs> Congratulations. On that, too. Oh, thank you. Know. You. Yeah. you know, and I think fourth is in the, you know, can we go on and on and on? You're doing such a tremendous job. Well, we're going to be a world class city. I mean, this facility right here just shows you what can happen when everybody works together. You got critics all over the place that don't see the vision of what the potentials are, and this family saw the potential in Wilmington, and we're very happy they got that vision accomplished, right? Yeah. Here. And I'll let you get, to, I know you're free. To, busy man, so I'll let you free up reporters and waiting on you. I'm going to turn my attention over to the Kenny family. You've got to be very, very excited, uh, you know. To, I know you guys have been working on this for quite some time to get this place opened up now. Yes, we have. We're very excited to be part of it. It's an underserved area in Wilmington, so you know, it's good for City of Wilmington. It's going to be good for us as well. Yeah, great location. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better location than what you got coming in. Right there on 13, coming into the city. Good, good ingress, good egress to the south to the north we're looking and we're merchandise for everybody in the city we yeah. really and i also heard uh, uh, something about the can i didn't realize that you're kicking this off about the same time the can can sale kicks off can can that's our biggest event of the year that's our like our fourth holiday you know that we have yeah because I'm, I'm looking at the store here and uh, much larger than is this your largest supermarket now this will be our largest supermarket yes definitely yeah and, and i know uh, there's so many things that but folks out there don't realize that services they shop Shoprite offers. I happen to got to get a file on Shoprite and checking through it, and the different things you guys offer is just unbelievable. And it's all about customer satisfaction. Well, it definitely is. We're not only the lowest price leader, but if you look around, we have very large perishable departments. We work very hard on customer service, and pretty soon you're even going to be able to shop from home. Yeah, and when you talk about customer service, you guys have it set up where you got assistance for shopping for people and things like that. A lot of things that other supermarkets markets don't have, you guys have in place, and it's out there and available, and you can go to your website and find out all that. It's all about customer service. Without customer service, anyone can build a building, put in fixtures, but you got to keep it fresh, keep the price right, and give service to our customers. And can-can sale going on. It doesn't get any better than this. I know my wife stocks up pretty much for the year on a can-can sale, as everybody else does. When you talk about lowest prices, it, 
you'll never find canned vegetables and stuff on the price you're sell, selling for right now. You are absolutely right. Yeah, and, and I thank you so much for letting us come in and invade your space here. I know you're going to be a busy man today. You know, you've got to be very excited, though. I know your brother, I, uh, Bernie, he's, he, he's jumping for joy. You you guys been working hard. Yeah, it, takes, it takes a lot to put it together, but we had a lot of help. So we're excited to be here, and now just hope everyone comes and shops. Yeah, so definitely check it out. This is a brand new shop right on Route 13. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. You're welcome. You're very welcome. You know, it's always important that, you know, that when things are happening in the city of Wilmington, you find that everybody gets involved from the county now to the state. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Uh, this is a happy day. I, I love the Kenny family. They are not, not just uh, folks who provide a wonderful place for people to shop for food. They are a good employer, and they are just so involved, invested in the community. They're just a, a terrific outfit. They are a clear demonstration that it's possible to do well and to do good at the same time. Yeah, you got to be excited because with the hard times and everything, to see people, that, that, that let folks know there's still opportunity here in the state of Delaware. Things are still happening. We're not stopping. Yeah, Wilmington, even in its downtime, Wilmington is just undergoing a terrific right revitalization. The Riverfront is part of it, but this is sort of an extension of the Riverfront. Is, so if old governor who helped get the Riverfront started, for me, this is a special labor of love. Yeah, well, in fact, I was talking to the shipyard people down here the other day, and they was asking me, they said, you got any footage of Mr. Carper? I said, I think I do, so you, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you see some of the footage we've got from you. Because you were involved with this for many, many years down here. I still here. am. I still am. We're going to start re having the train station in about another month and we have the uh, Children's uh, Science Museum coming on probably late this year. Urban Wildlife Refuge named after former Governor Peterson coming online after uh, later this year with its Nature Education Center. The riverfront still uh, in, in my heart. Now let's go to turn attention just to Washington. I know you're busy here just a little bit but you got to be also excited about the changes that's taking place. I mean, you know, the country I believe is is behind Obama and, and look, you know, looking forward to all the things that's happening. Well here in Delaware we, we know we've been a state for over 200 years. We've never had a president or vice president. So we're, uh, I think Democrats and Republicans are excited uh, about the idea that one of our own can be vice president. The uh, the notion of Barack, who I think is a, just a remarkable human being, he's putting together, he governs from the middle, someone who's more, really interested not in Democrat or Republican ideas, he just want to figure out what works. And he's uh, very good at uh, adept at getting people to work well. And this is a tough time for us, a tough time for a lot of families right now. We'll get through this and uh, he will uh, he'll help, uh, help yeah, provide that. And I, I know we got a good leader up there beside him, too, when you mentioned the vice president. I mean, uh, you know, congratulations to Joe, I mean, you guys have been friends for many years. Well, Joe has uh, just been a wonderful colleague, and I hate to lose him as a colleague in the Senate, but uh, he uh, he provides, he meets a great need uh, for, for Barack in terms of Joe's knowledge of the world, the world's problems, world experiences, the world's leaders. He uh, he will be a, a terrific asset. Maybe we can get him to come down to ShopRite Grand Opener some days. You know? Because <laughs> he's, he's still, he's, I, I notice that people, it's going to be Joe Biden sightings now, you know, when he's home, you know, so uh, I know he's going to become a busy man here pretty quick, and I know you are, so I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you so much, Tom, for your time. Great to see you. Happy shopping. All right, take care. Uh, what is good for uh, Wilmington is good for Newcastle County. Likewise, what is good for Newcastle County is good for the city of Wilmington. It's a good partnership. And here's our partner, Newcastle County Executive Chris Coons. Thank you, John. You took the words right out of my mouth. I truly believe, as a Wilmingtonian, a member of the RDC board, an active partner with the city and the state in growing our local economy, that's what good for us in Wilmington is good for us in Newcastle County is good for us in the state. We all have a calling in life, and as I was walking in the door, I got an important call. It was my wife, Annie, saying, make sure you pick up a loaf of wheat bread after this press conference, as long as it's below 249. <laughs> And he is nothing if not a value shopper. As a Wilmingtonian, I am thrilled with this gorgeous, state-of-the-art, 70,000 square foot shop right. I first met, in fact, the Kenny Brothers as they were looking for a location up on the north side of Wilmington and tried to work with the city, tried to get through things with the state. Redevelopment is one of our main priorities in the county. And we've made investments. George Timko and Carl Kalbacher help run our Office of Economic Redevelopment. The city-county line is just a little bit down this block, and so frankly, the strength and vitality and viability of the sites that are just outside the city in the county is intimately connected to the viability of the sites inside the city. It is a great thing for all of us and for all of our communities. As the mayor said, 
I don't believe that the economy will be as bad or as tough or as long here in Wilmington and in Delaware as it is and will be in the rest of the country for a variety of reasons. This is still a great place to live and work and raise a family. And I don't want to have lost in all the excitement to get back there and get shopping that this place will employ 200 UFCW employees. Folks, it will be high wage, high scale labor job. This project is the result of the marriage of two Delaware families, the Kenny family and the Buccini family. And while we may joke that you will be representing the BP district soon, and I may tease them that they're the only brothers I know who look at the Wilmington skyline and go, got it, got it, need it, want it, got it, need it, need it, got it. <laughs> In these really difficult times in the real estate market, I am more grateful than ever that the Brothers Fuccini and everybody at BP Group continues to invest in this community. That takes courage and discipline and engagement, and I am very, very grateful for their leadership, both philanthropically, corporately, and their investment in this hometown. Please, a round of applause. I'm fond of handing out tributes at everything. I will not read this one in great detail. It simply reflects uh, what Councilwoman Shabazz and uh, Mayor Baker and others have already reflected, which is that the Kenny family has an unusual and impressive and a sustained commitment to the community. It's great they're hiring 200 folks. It's great they're hiring UFCW folks. It's great that they are a business based here in Delaware. It's great this is their fourth family owned shop right. And if you want to learn about operational excellence, talk to Bernie. He's got some great standards, standards that would make a Chrysler plant manager proud. If you stand in a certain line more than a certain number of seconds, you get a certain percentage off your ticket. He's got this place operating at a high hump. But since I first met them, Rich and Chris and Bernie and Joe and the other folks who are partners with us in Newcastle County in providing 70,000 hot lunches a year at 14 senior centers across this county, who have been partners... that has been partners with Anifa and others in the Holiday Turkey Drive are a great employer, a great constituent, and a great corporate partner for the future of Wilmington, Newcastle County, and Delaware. And I'm honored to present this tribute, thanking them for their philanthropy and their leadership. Thank you very much. Another addition here, I want to come over here and introduce Chris Coons. Everybody knows who you are and what's happening with the county. But you've got to be tickled to death to see, even in these hard times and the economy being the way it is, something like this still taking place on the riverfront. That's right, Tim. I was thrilled to be a part of this ribbon cutting for the new shop right in Southbridge. This, this store is going to employ 200 people, 200 people who are getting jobs that are in the UFCW, the food and commercial workers. And shop right has a terrific level of service. Uh, they provide great food at a good cost, and they've got great customers customer service. Uh, my wife and I shop at the shop right now way up on 202. And as Wilmingtonians, we're pleased to have another option here in the city of Wilmington. It's also, as you mentioned, great for the county. Uh, this is a former polluted waste site here on the riverfront, and the more we get new employers and new jobs and new energy here, the more it's going to grow uh, both for the city and the county. So long term, I'm very excited about what it means for our broader community. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. You guys out here trying to, you know, make this a, a better place to live at the same time, trying to get people to bring employees back to the area. I've just had meetings in the last week uh, with leaders in several different uh, riverfront businesses trying to encourage them to expand here in Newcastle County and in the city of Wilmington. And actually, they're generally uh, favorable. Yeah, because okay. we got a lot of things happening. And there's a lot more. I know you got a, you're a busy man, so I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. I'll get with you later on. But thank you for showing up today. Thanks, Tim. Always good to see you. Thanks, folks. Thank you. I would like to thank the Kenny family, but even before they moved into the area of South Wilmington, they were contributors to the community. They're very community-minded. They've been supporters of our uh, turkey drive for the past three or four years. I again thank you for all those um, the support and, and love of community. But not only did they bring a fabulous, fabulous store that provides a diverse selection of, of products and goods and services, they also came and became one of the most community-minded and insistent community employer. Um, they made sure we worked diligently together to make sure that the people who lived in the area were not only just purchasers of the product here, but they also were the employees who worked here. And I really want to thank you on behalf of all of the local neighborhood residents who are now employed here and proud to be ShopRite employers. Thank you very much.
to, this is just the beginning of things to come from the Shotwright family. You're doing many great things, and again, I just want to thank you and continue to working along with you in making not just what you're doing prosperous, but the city of Wilmington, and especially the fourth district. Thank you. We're going to end it up here and, and talking to the, the up and coming. I guess this is the the, the gen, next generation of the Kenny family. Uh, you've got to be extremely excited about what your family's been able to accomplish with this new store. We are. We're we're very excited to open our first uh, new store from the from the ground up in in Wilmington. We had the uh, three stores since '95, uh, and this is our first new store. So our entire family is very happy, very excited to to do something new. Yeah, I know you guys have been working your tails off here since this went into the planning phases and everything else. I know you've been busy, your dad's been busy, but after you walk in here, are you are you happy? <laughs> it's a lot. It's now we have to get the people in the door. So uh, the building it, and getting it right, and putting the right show on the right facility. Uh, that's half the battle. The next half of the battle is uh, we need thirty thousand people a week to come through the doors and shop with us. And last week we had seventeen thousand, so we're halfway there. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be no problem once people see the size of this store, the selection that you have in this store, and especially right now, since this is going on, we better get out the can-can sale, because this only happens once a year. This is. This is our annual signature sales event. Uh, we have uh, the cheapest cans on the planet. Uh, people come in, they, they take whole cartloads of cans and come right out the store, and we're, we're really looking forward for them to, to come in and, and save a lot of money, especially in these tough economic times. Yeah, and then, and then I look at, you know, I was talking to your uncle a little bit about it, too. I mean, the services that you guys have, I mean, when you come here, you're not getting frozen meats and brought in by trucks and everything. You guys got butchers on location. I mean, you guys do it and do it right and have it in all your stores. We do. We have uh, a pretty significant investment into all of our uh, service departments in terms of labor. Uh, we have uh, a, a tremendous amount of full-time meat cutters and butchers and full-time wrappers that are in the department putting out the products in the right locations and wrapping it. And uh, We also have the uh, seafood department. We have uh, a lot of full-time help in there to, to make sure that they're inspecting the fish and cutting the fish properly and making sure it's uh, fresh and has the right quality for the customer. The bakery, we have full-time pastry chef, full-time uh, donut maker, full-time um yeah, but cake makers, every because when you're talking about, it, I'm, I'm looking now. They, they, you, you even have something for the kids there with the cookie clubs and stuff. I mean, you you get the community involved with what's happening in the store by getting them to be participants in different things you have going on. We, we do. We got the birthday cake club for uh, the birthdays. Uh, we got the free cookies when they come in, free cheese for the kids when they come in. There's a, a lot of programs just in the store that generate excitement for the community when they come in. You can hear the piano in the background. Uh, for Black History Month, we will be having either a five-piece jazz band or a pianist to uh, come in and and uh, just keep everybody happy. And we want people to enjoy their time here. Yeah, and when you're talking about it, I, I, I like the way the store is set up. Very secure uh, as well. you got parking on the rooftops and things like that. So you guys get and well lit. It, it is. Uh, we, we made sure that we put the investment in to make the city feel secure about coming in and uh, shopping the store. You can see the customers are just flying around. That's what I was going to say. Just let them go on by. They shop and we don't care. Yeah. And, and, and now now it's time for us. To, I know you're you're a busy guy. Lunch it's, time. It's lunch time because one of the things that you have here at ShopRite is, and I, I visit the one I over, you know, uh, down down the road here a little ways. Uh, but yeah, uh, but you have always got some of the best foods and soups and stuff set out every day for lunch. That's um, We've expanded upon that here with the fresh hot bar. There's over a dozen hot items on there. There's a fresh salad bar, fresh soup program. Uh, we have fresh ground meat in our chili. That's a it's very good chili. Uh, great recipes. Fresh crab goes right into the crab soup. Um, the hot bar has got uh, fresh turkey, fresh carved turkey, fresh uh, pork picnic baked up, cooked right right there to eat. Whatever we got in the in the meat department that comes in, we get it right over to the hot foods department and and really uh, get people you, in. You got to experience, it, folks. It's all here for you. The brand new shop right on Route 13 as you're coming into the city. And it's time for us to wrap it up. I know you're busy. Get back out there. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Uh, if Bernie asked me
me to say a few words on behalf of the whole Kenny family. And certainly we are so excited to be here, uh, to be part of this wonderful Wilmington Renaissance. You've heard so many people that everyone's been thanking, and we want to thank everybody also. Um, you know, sometimes people who are here in the state of Delaware, and the county, and the city don't realize what great legislators we have. They've all worked so hard with us to make this thing happen. They put people of the city, of the county, of the state before anything else to help us to make this thing happen. So, Mayor Baker, thank you so much. Uh, Council person, should I? We look forward to working with you and the people in this area, and of course, everybody you know, within the county or in our training area. Mr. Pinto, thank you so much for working real hard with us to make get some incentives to help make this thing happen. And certainly, Rob Pacini, what a, what a pleasure to work with Rob. Someone who uh, just makes things happen. Yeah. Out of my way, we're going to make it happen. This, this thing happened in, in pretty short time from our first meeting with Chris. We had lunch, we talked about it, and it's, it's been pretty record time in our business for getting a store like this to happen. I certainly want to thank uh, our store team also for uh, putting this wonderful store together. Uh, here for our store team. Bill, come on up here a minute. It takes a lot. This is Bill, store manager. You'll see him in here all the time when you're shopping. And if you have any suggestions, complaints, he's the guy to see. We, we like to hear the complaints too, so we make sure that we're, we're doing everything that, that our customers want and that our community wants. Rich Vestro, our director of operations for the store. Rich. Joe Calhi, our director of sales and merchandising. Our and where's Dan? Dan Tanja? Come on out. Danny has worked countless hours, and he's really the, the detailed guy who, from the very planning of this thing, the, the blueprints, the revisions over and over, uh, and then on the job all the time, making it work. Danny, thank you very much. You work tirelessly. And we're also going to place to, to our guests that we will have great value and we will really strive to have the lowest price, best service, most fresh quality products that you can get. And this guy behind me is in here all the time and he's the one that really makes it happen. He's, he's the guy that's going to stop it. And we also can, you know, we are going to continue our support of all the needs of the city, state, community. Uh, through our partners in caring with the food bank, through uh, military discounts, uh, working with Neighborhood House, Salvation Army, the Sunday Breakfast Mission, Little Sisters of the Poor, and we go on and on. And we really believe, we sincerely believe that it's good business to give back to the community in which we do business. It's just a smart thing to do, and it's a good thing to do. So, with that, thank you everybody, and uh, we're shopping.